a smartphone for true enthusiasts. The Oppo Find X Automobile Lamborghini is available for purchase at the exorbitant price of €1,699, that's $1,965. In the package you'll find the smartphone, a themed cover, a pair of wireless headsets called o and a braided USB Type-C cable that's compatible with the SuperVoop 50W charger included in the package. An Iconic Design there's little to say about the design of this smartphone. If you've already had a look at our articles about the basic version of the Find X, you're sure to know everything. Two panels of curved Gorilla Glass 5 are held together by a metal structure. This time, however, the back of the smartphone doesn't have a blue or fuchsia finish, and instead is showing off a carbon fiber-like finish. The Automobili Lamborghini logo is in the center of the frame which isn't printed and is instead inserted inside the glass. You'll notice that the logo is actually 3D, even if it feels smooth on the panel's glass. The construction is of excellent quality and there's nothing to complain about because of Oppo's beautiful and iconic design. You can use the rubberized plastic cover included in the package to protect the delicate and slippery device. I usually tend to avoid cases and protective covers, but in this case I have to admit that Oppo's case is quite sleek and greatly improves your grip on the device. The panoramic arc display always works. In terms of the display, there have been no changes compared to the basic model. You'll find a fascinating 6.4-inch OLED screen with virtually no edges and no notch. The resolution in Full HD+, 1080 x 2340, is sufficient to ensure sharp images and the quality of the panel has proven excellent on several occasions. A little carelessness makes the software less smooth. The software is the only real weak point of the Find X Automobili Lamborghini. Unfortunately, the smartphone suffers from the same problems as the basic version and introduces a few more. Android 8.1 is present with the security patches from September and the color OS 5.1 skin. One skin, although our model is the one indicated for the international market, there are some details that you should know if you're going to make this kind of investment. Color OS looks a lot like iOS but you can easily change the launcher. The management of notifications is terrible because of the confusing settings and because of how difficult it is to delete them. Oppo will only allow you to automatically start 5 apps, and this will prevent all other apps from starting automatically. Apps remain open and synchronize in the background, but be careful not to close them or they'll become frozen. In this version of Find X Automobili Lamborghini, there is no navigation through gestures, the voice has been removed in the settings and you can only use the classic navbar. It isn't possible to reduce the size of the elements on the screen, only the text. There's still no indication about the arrival of Android 9.0 Pi. It would be really great if there was an Android 1 version of the Find X, since Android stock would fix most of the problems I encountered with the Oppo software. The perfect companion for the 21st century. Under the body is a very powerful chip. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 is still the most powerful sock available for Android smartphones and has everything it needs to carry out any task effortlessly. 8GB of RAM is more than you need. We've said that many times before, but it's always nice to find inflated specifications when you pay such a high price. From the little software problems described above, we know that the smartphone will never use all the system memory anyway. As for the internal memory, you'll find 512 gigabytes, which isn't expandable but should be enough for anyone. It's very good that the smartphone remains cool even after long gaming sessions. There's a dual SIM slot and the NFC chip is missing, you can forget about using your smartphone to use Google Pay. Don't expect higher res DAX. The Find X's audio system isn't the best available, but it's certainly sufficient. You won't find a high-quality DAC or a stereo speaker system, but the results are still good. The smartphone has a single speaker located at the bottom near the USB port that will easily be covered by your head. The quality and volume are still great, still great.
The 3.5mm jack is missing, but there is a practical replacement adapter in the package. Oppo tries to convince you to use Bluetooth audio by including the O3 in the package, although these headphones aren't as premium as the smartphone. The audio codex Bluetooth apps, Aptx HD and the always excellent Wdak are all present thanks to Google's inclusion of the codes in main Android code. A photographic sector oriented to privacy and style. The Find X's photo compartment is what makes it really unique. When it's in standby, the smartphone doesn't reveal any cameras on either the front or back. The smartphone only reveals its photo compartment when the camera app is open. A double camera on the back enhanced by the AI will take care of your photos and in the front there's an array of sensors for 3D face recognition. The results are good if not excellent. The photos are comparable to and might even exceed the results from the OnePlus 6. For more details about the quality of the camera, I'll refer you to our dedicated test. Oppo Find X Automobili Lamborghini Edition Battery One of the real strengths of the phone is the battery life and charging speed. Thanks to the adapted cable included in the package you can reach 50 watts of power absorbed by the two 1700 mAh cells. This allows the 3400 mAh battery to recharge in about 30 minutes from 0 to 100%, which is a stunning result that makes the competition eat the dust. All this without heating up neither the smartphone nor the charger. Isn't that magical? In terms of battery life, I can only share estimated values with you. Color OS doesn't have statistics on the use of the screen, but with some third-party apps I obtained values that are close to 10 hours of use. It was impossible for me to complete the R Classic benchmark tests, but we've already performed tests on the classic version of the device. Note that the basic version has a larger battery and is slower to recharge. You should also take into account the limitations of the software that contribute to this result. A dream smartphone with nightmarish software, and price. Like the basic version of the Find Dex, the Automobili Lamborghini seems like it's coming from the future. The almost totally borderless curved OLED display, the retractable cameras and the SuperVOOC recharge makes this smartphone one of the best in the world. If you're truly a fan of luxury technology, I would of course recommend it to you, it to you, unfortunately, however, as often happens with smartphone from the most popular brand in China, it's the software experience that ruins the overall picture. The color OS on the international version is definitely improved compared to the versions on the legendary Find 7 and compared to the firmware versions for the Chinese market. But there are still some annoying things that could cause real problems for the average user, especially not receiving notifications. Given the very high price tag and the unfinished software it's difficult to recommend the purchase to the general public. But if you're a daring kind of person willing to make this kind of investment, you'll have the most original and technologically advanced smartphone on the market today. Market today.